Hey everyone, Victor is here, your organic chemistry tutor, and in this video I want to address a question I keep on getting in the comments in my substitution elimination videos. So here is the molecule. Now the question is, is this molecule chiral? No. To be chiral, a molecule needs to have a non-superimposable mirror image, and this one has an internal vertical plane of symmetry going right through the molecule like that, so it will superimpose with its own mirror image. So maybe we have chiral atoms then? Well, also no, this molecule does not have any chiral atoms. So then do we have an inversion of stereochemistry here if we were to do an SN2 reaction for this molecule? And the short answer is yes. The nucleophilic attack requires the backside approach to the electrophilic carbon in our molecule, so we will invert the atom in the process. Think about this as an umbrella flipping in a high wind. Exactly the same thing happens with your molecule. It doesn't really matter if the atom is chiral or not. The stereochemical inversion is the physical process that flips the atom. If atom was chiral, it makes the opposite stereo configuration. If the atom is not chiral, it is still flipped regardless. In some cases, it won't make any difference. In some, like in this case, it definitely will. Because if you were to keep your stereochemistry as is and you didn't invert that, you would end up with a diastereomer of the product. And remember, you don't need chiral carbons to have diastereomers. Likewise, the molecule doesn't have to have chiral atoms to have enantiomers either. So the next time when you're dealing with the SN2 reaction, remember to invert the stereochemistry of the atom you're attacking regardless if it is a chiral atom or not. And that's all I have for this video. Thank you for watching. Don't hesitate to drop your questions in the comments below, boop the like button if you found this video useful, subscribe to the channel for daily organic chemistry updates, watch this video YouTube thinks you'll love, and I will see you tomorrow.